Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. All right, so an interesting stylistic clash here. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to take his opponent down and get off some of that patented ground and pound. Yes, and once he's on top, he starts to just gain control first. He does not try to rush to the next position because he understands whether or not he's in the guard, half guard, or side control, he can find ways to land big damage. In the side control, he does a really good job of going knee on belly, posturing right. his body all the way to the top, and just coming down with big punches. Boom, once he lands, he goes back and he secures. Right. Then he goes back to find another, another big strike. He does not waste energy just throwing little rabbit punches. Everything has to matter, as you've seen in some of the great ground and pound fighters we've right. ever seen, like Jack Hermanson, guy that beats you into the bottom of the octagon until you roll over and give up your neck to get submitted. Yeah, nothing pitter-patter about it. No. Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. More than five years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. Here once more is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. Walter White division. Introducing first, fighting and out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 17 wins, no losses. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Shavkat Nomad Rothmanov. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 22 wins, three losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Chicago, Illinois. Below, remember the name, Muhammad! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Lavigne. The veteran Eve Lavigne draws the assignment here. You ready? is now underway on one side being a fighter who does everything well taking on a true grappler on the other side can be interesting to see how long he can keep up with. i mean damian maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the ufc this guy resembles him in a number quick entry here nice single leg entry rotates ahead outside to a high cross oh. Excuse me? Windshield choke. A huh? windshield choke. He took the arm with him. You usually see this in grappling competitions with the gi, John. A lot of downward pressure here, DC. Wow. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you've got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Oh, 
unbelievable position change. Now he sees the drive. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Oh, wow. Oh! Now he falls back into the finishing position. Right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. A lot of top pressure being applied here. 15 seconds remain in the round. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. So here we are as our next round gets underway. I would have tapped in that previous round, by the way. I would have tapped. It was so tight, I cannot believe that he got out of that submission. Oh, he connects with a the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. And really nice job to finish the takedown there. Right hand on point. These are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Somehow stays in the fight. Full side control now. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Side control now. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Oh, Perfect. Got to the leg, got to the position, got another beautiful take. Now the guy's got on bar, he's attacking it on it. I need you to fight out of that. He's gonna attack on bar here. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. So he submits him with the arm ball. How about that? Great job. Great performance. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground. DC, talk us through the huddle. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 21 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out. Incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission and 
they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win, but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. 